Dick Ray is here, and it was not a good night for the blue and white down at Assembly Hall. But a wonderful night for the cream and crimson, That's or right. crimson and cream. They looked uh, tremendous. One would figure that Indiana would have had the home court advantage in this situation, but uh, boy, it was uh, more than just a home court advantage. And there's no better measuring stick for an up-and-coming program like Butler than to play the best, and that's what Barry Collier's Bulldogs were doing tonight in Assembly Hall down in Bloomington. For the story on tonight's game, let's go live via satellite to Vince Welch there at Assembly Hall. Vince, take it away. Uh, you know, Dick, uh, you, you mentioned the fact that uh, a measuring stick, and Barry Collier commented on, on that very uh, thing in the post-game press conference saying, I found out something about my team tonight. I just didn't like what I found out. Uh, Butler, a very difficult night for the Bulldogs. If you got here late, you missed one dominating performance by the Hoosiers. So powerful, in fact, Butler never, never came close to ever even being in contention. The game runs the normal 40 minutes in length, but the outcome is decided in the first 10. Calbert Cheney directly contributing to nine of Indiana's first 11 points, either by bucket or assist. Damon Bailey comes off the bench to nail a pair of three-pointers, and freshman Alan Henderson plays with the grit and determination of a seasoned veteran. IU hits 30 before Butler hits double figures. We came out, we played with intensity. Our offense moved pretty well. Defensively, we were in them. The Hoosiers force the Bulldogs into 12 first-half turnovers. And while Butler is getting only one shot at the bucket, Indiana is pounding the boards at both ends, the rebounding edge nearly 3-1. to one. If you had a, a checklist, I think everything would be in one column as far as what they did good and, and uh, what we were able to stop would be awful blank. Butler didn't stop Indiana's offense. The Hoosiers shot better than 50% and attempted twice as many shots as the Bulldogs in the first half. We obviously got started off really well in the first half and uh, probably played about as well as, as we can uh, play going up and down the floor. Indiana leads by 32 at halftime, and the Hoosiers go on to win at 97-73. Five IU players in double figures led by Calvert Chaney with 19. Greg Graham had 17, and the freshman Alan Henderson continues his strong play with 16 points. J.P. Brins led Butler with 18. Uh, no contest, though, and uh, Barry, Bu Barry Collier and the Bulldogs are uh, deeply humbled tonight, but they say they'll pick it up and uh, learn something from this uh, route and go on and uh, be back in action again on Tuesday. IU, of course, returns to action Tuesday as well against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. So that's the story from Assembly Hall. A big win for the Hoosiers. The record now 1-1 one one for IU, while Butler slips to 2-1. and one. Dick? No, to make matters worse tonight for Butler, Vince, was when Michael Wilson went down late in the game. Is there any word on what kind of injury that was? It looked like it might have been a knee injury. In fact, it was a bruised knee, however, so uh, although that is uh, severe and painful, it's not as severe as a possible ligament damage or, or something of that nature. But a bruised knee sent Wilson to the locker room a little bit early tonight. Uh, Coach Barry Collier says he'll be okay. Uh, that bruise will heal, so uh, no surgery or anything of that nature. But uh, as you mentioned, it did look serious. He had to be carried from the floor by his teammates. But uh, a bruised knee, all there is to report. Also, uh, from a health note, Damon Bailey back in action tonight and looked extremely sharp, not only with the jump shot, but his overall court play. So a good showing from Bailey as he comes back from that bruised nerve at his back. All right, Vince, we'll see you back here with a report tomorrow night on Sports Locker. And of course, Indiana will play Notre Dame next on Tuesday night.